Hello and welcome again in this training series. Hope this finds you well. In this tutorial video we will take a glance on how animations can be done in Composer 2015, where we are going to produce exciting projects. Having that said, let's get going. To begin with in this video, we will be needing an extra model. You will find it in the description in the title screen of this tutorial. Now we're done saying that, let's start Composer. Select the robot from the recent files. Change the way your view navigates if you prefer to. All set now. Now we will drag the FBX file from the exercise directory called Buildings. Hit number 3 on your keyboard to scale the buildings. Now we will snap the chopper on the building's rooftop. Make sure to select the entire chopper, then head to the Move Desk tab. Select the Snap to Object action. Hit Ctrl plus J on your keyboard to frame selection quickly. Now we will learn how to make the chopper's propellers rotate, but first we will get rid of the animation that came with this project, which is exactly what we are trying to do, but you'll never learn if you don't do it yourself. So in order to delete the animation we will have to head to the animation workbench. Down here are all the animations in your scene. Go ahead and delete them, click the little icon here. Ok now select the propeller's fin and on the left panel, we can select the entire propeller. Hit Ctrl plus J on keyboard to zoom onto it. We will be applying a wheel animation, so go ahead and click the wheel animation action over there. Here we can choose clockwise or counterclockwise, and the number of revolution and so on. I will stick to the CCW with a revolution of 9. Click on Pick Center to select our revolution axis. And in order to do that we must choose a curve. So head to the common toolbar and select the following. Composer will automatically generate the curves for us. This curve looks good. Always pay attention to the blue arrow if it's pointing up or down. In this one it's normal and will go counterclockwise. Let's give it a test. Looks pretty good. Now let's do this once again to the other propeller. Notice the blue arrow pointing downwards. This means it will be rotating on clockwise relatively to our perspective. So I will cancel this and choose clockwise so it will turn the other side. Go ahead and train on the other propellers for now. Alright, all is good. Next we will make a takeoff and safely land on the roof, top of the other building. We will be creating this type of animation using a path. Therefore we must go ahead and create one. Head to the Scene Building Workbench. In the Create task select the Open Path action. Follow along on drawing it in the scene.
after that we are done with the path. We must assign the model onto it. First select the model. Make sure you select it entirely. Now let's head to the animation workbench and hit the follow path action. In the window that just popped you can change the ease of the motion and how much constant speed you want along this timeline. I will go with 40 frames that accelerates and 30 that decelerates. All frames between will be constant. Now all that's left is to select the path. Now let's give it a shot shall we? It just came across my mind that I want to have this animation on more frames. The better way than repeating all what we did before is to head to keyframes. Then hit the scale timeline icon. I'd go with a 150% increase. There we go that more like it. Now we will finish off with adding a third person, camera that follows the chopper. So first we will create a camera. So head to the scene building workbench. In the camera task tab hit new camera. Now we want to see through that camera to easily position it. So while having that camera selected hit the connect action on the same task tab. Hit play to play the animation. Notice the camera is not following our object. Honestly, there are many ways to animate the camera, but I will go with the fastest way, which will be placing the camera in the same assembly. So let's go to the advanced tab in the left panel. Hit the minus icon to collapse the view. Now we will simply drag the camera into the chopper's assembly. Hold Alt and left mouse click and drag it into the assembly. That's it we're all set, let's test it now. That's one ace landing isn't it? Looks pretty good. Last thing is left to do is rendering. So let's go to the rendering workbench. The animation action over here will start rendering the animation. But first I will drag a preset from the library. This preset will save time on setting the output lightings and SPP. Notice the SPP has changed to suit a fast animation, and since it's an animation, we won't be needing a high sample per pixel. After hitting Render Animation A, window will pop up showing the rendered images. Go ahead and copy that path. Now head to the Animation Workbench in the Video Task tab. Click the Movie Maker action.
This will gather the images into a single video. Choose your desired formats. Remember to keep the frames per second above 24 frames. For a seamless video, you can add an audio to be merged into the video. Once you are done, hit Create, and you have successfully made your first animation using Composer 2015. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.